in France today was dubbed Action Day, and all the talk of stopping climate change got a bit closer to a final agreement. A draft document is now ready to go before ministers of close to 200 countries, but it's far from a done deal. Nala Ayed has been covering the conference this week for us. She's in Le Bourget with more. Nala. Andrew, the 48-page document is still full of brackets, and brackets mean differences. And there are still major ones. Without objection, so decided. Today is a milestone, but it also marks the start of a critical phase. I'm here today as a citizen of the world. So on the so-called Action Day here at COP21, it was no surprise to see high-profile environmentalists here pushing for an ambitious deal. And the days of dreams have given way to the days of doing. Among them, actor Sean Penn, speaking about the importance of forests and praising the progress so far, calling this the most exciting time in human history. Former U.S. Vice President and environmentalist Al Gore also spoke. Your actions during this important meeting will send a message to the world on how we regard the future of our home planet. There is even a message from astronauts in space supporting the negotiators and encouraging them to work together. The French foreign minister said he was starting to get very optimistic about the talks, but he warned there is still lots more work to do. The key sticking points, defining the rights and obligations of developing and developed countries, even how you define those categories, and the question of how to financially help developing countries reduce emissions. There's even the basic matter of what temperature they should agree is the upper limit. Starting Monday, the talks will go into high gear when the ministers take over the negotiations, and there is a lot to negotiate. But many here are optimistic, though, because they have something they're starting to call the Paris Agreement. Andrew. All right, thanks, Nella.